Welcome back, Rankers. There has been a great interview overnight with Matt Cutts. He is the head of the web spam team for Google. Web spam team, that's hard to say. Um, Matt Cutts was interviewed by Eric Eng of Stone Temple Consulting, and it's an excellent interview. And if you were, are at all interested in finding out more about the technical side of SEO, I highly suggest you go and read this interview. Now, for most of you out there, it's just all about relevancy when it comes to SEO. It's just about getting good content on the site and making sure that you update regularly and that the you're using your keywords and your content. However, I know that a lot of you do that and you still have problems ranking for your key phrases. Well, this interview today will helpfully hope, will helpfully hope, will hopefully help some of you out there uh, try to work out why it is that your site still doesn't rank even though you've got all the relevant content on the site. Some of the big things that that really stood out for me was uh, number one was was page rank. We talked a, a, a lot about page rank over the years and in case you don't know what page rank is, I shall show you. Um, we can go to, uh, let's just do a search for, I don't know, internet filter or something like that, internet filter. And if we type in internet filter, then we can just go and find the page rank of any page, either by the uh, the Google toolbar here that has a page rank indicator, or if you are using uh, Aaron Wall's plugin for Firefox for SEO, you can also get it there. So we can see there that this ABC page uh, on the 15th of December last year has a Google page rank of six out of 10, which is quite high. Um, if you've got anything over four out of 10 on a page, then it's quite high. But what the relevancy of that was as far as this interview goes, and also how the bot operates, was more about how often the bot will crawl the site. If the, if the page has a low page rank, the bot isn't gonna to come to that page very often. However, if you have a lot of pages with high page rank, then the bot's gonna to come to your site all the time. Now, most sites will have uh, a, a reasonable page rank for their front page usually, uh, or it will be the most, uh, or it will be the, the one page on the site that has the highest page rank. And that's usually because it's got the most links going to it. Now, in the past we've said don't get hung up about page rank, and I still say don't get hung up about page rank uh, when it comes to ranking, but what you need to understand about page rank and how it affects the overall uh, crawling of your site by the bot is very important. Uh, if, for instance, if you've got a very large site, you've probably got a lot of pages in there that have a low page rank. When I say very large site, I'm talking thousands of pages. And for those pages that have a low page rank, they're probably not gonna get crawled that often. So if you have some content deep within your site that has a low page rank, but you wanna get ranked, then make sure that you go and get external links to that page that you wanna get ranked. So basically, where the page rank is low, the bot won't go. Do you like that one? Made that one up myself. Um, the shared hosting is the other really big thing. And we've, we've talked about this a number of times, mainly because of uh, what we're seeing with page load speed times on underpowered servers, if you like. Um, a lot of hosting companies out there, they'll have one IP address, and then there'll be you know, hundreds of sites um, with one IP address on them. Now, for instance, if we go and have a look at, uh, we've just done a search here, how many site IP address? That's the search, and we've gone and we've found this particular page. And basically, you can type an IP address into a, a site like this, and it will come back and tell you all the sites that are listed on that IP address or who are using that IP address. And the, the reason this is important is that not only because of the, the, the power of the server and how fast it loads your site if it's got a thousand other sites sitting on the one server, but what the article today has pointed out is that you know, if that hosting company only allows the bot um, access, you know, concurrent access of three connections or something like that for that IP address, and there's a thousand sites on that IP address, the bot's only gonna come back at a certain time to each IP address. So if the hosting company is restricting how often the bot or how much bandwidth the bot can use, and you're in amongst those thousand sites, 
it's unlikely your site is going to get crawled that often. Now, one of the things that you should do if you have access to it is if you have access to another stats package other than Google Analytics, which is fantastic, but quite often the hosting company will have a stats package. The free ones out there um, would be Webalizer and also AW Stats. A lot of you may have those from your hosting company. Go and have a look at the robot spiders inf information and make sure the Google bot is listed there as coming to your site on a regular basis. If it's not, you've got some work to do. I would say if there's any more than 50 sites on your IP address, you may want to think about changing hosting companies. And, and the final thing that I got out of uh, Matt's interview today was also, you know, everything that we know about duplicate content uh, and more is bad. <laughs> um, basically, what Matt pointed out with duplicate content is that it's not only confusing to users and to the search engines and everything else, but it you're basically you're chewing you're wasting page rank because you're, you might have the same page duplicated three or four times within your site and your page rank is getting you know shared around those duplicate pages but also that um, it's wasting the bots time the bots crawling the same page three or four times and you don't need it to the bot is only there for a certain amount of time um, but it's a Excellent interview, and I highly recommend you go and read it, and I shall give you the address. It is at uh, stonetemple.com, and uh, there's the address there. If you are listening to this on a podcast and you can actually see that URL, just go and uh, go to stonetemple.com, and there will be a link off the front page to the Mac Cuts interview. Uh, and one of, the, one of the other interesting things that uh, came out of the interview was that and for those who are more technically inclined, is that uh, Matt said that the page rank from a 301 won't necessarily be passed on to the target page, which is something quite revealing. We've known in the past that um, the anchor text may not be uh, attributed to the, to the new page if it's 301, but uh, certainly we, uh, we hadn't heard that uh, page rank doesn't necessarily follow. And he was talking specifically, if you're moving your site from one domain to another domain, it, uh, it can have a problem. But there's, there's heaps of other stuff in that interview, and I've only uh, touched the tip of the iceberg there. So go and have a look at that, and thanks very much for watching this week's show. Remember, if you've got news we can use, uh, please send it through if you have any questions. Or don't forget, Sydney, next month, the Connect Now conference and go and have a look at that. That's connectnow.net.au. Thanks very much.